Hey guys, uh, today we're going to make this pipe keeping in line of all my other metal tutorials we're going to do this today I've never done a pipe tutorial so I'll I'll do this uh, basically we're going to make something like this but we're going to have to do it a, di a, a bit different because once you we had as filters it's not going to look right so we have to do it a lot different come to your round rectangle tool make your radius 7 pixels Draw out a nice thin line like that. I'm gonna copy this lay style and paste it in here, but I'll show you the lay styles. So that that's what we're gonna do. The lay style for this it's just a gradient overlay and these are the settings. Your angle needs to be zero to your right liner this is just black here black this side this here is colour code and this here location colour code So once you have that, just hold down control, press G on that layer, group it and then hold down control and press E to merge it, that's rasterised it, so there's no filters on it now. <coughs> Alright, come to us, rectangle and marquee tool, gonna zoom in a little bit. Make an all layer, fill it with white, deselect it. I'm going to move it over once, zoom back out to 100%. Like that. I'm going to hold down control, and the layer underneath is pipe what we made. You'll see the icon change with that square just left mouse click and you'll get your dotted lines and now I'm going to hold control shift and press the letter I to invert and then press backspace on the top layer that layer we've just made then deselect like that I'm going to come to filter blur Gaussian blur That's not bad, 1.2 radius. Click OK. I'm going to need to do that again. Invert it, then backspace. I'm going to set that on overlay. I'm going to highlight both of the layers. Hold down Control and press E to merge them. Make an all layer. Gonna come to his brush tool, black, and here we're using uh, some brushes that I made. I'll, I'll put the link in description. Well, this is what they are these brushes, simple brushes that I made that are really useful for stuff like this. So, opacity 100%, flow 100%, you've made your new layer, and just click, click.
click 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 like that come to filter sharpen once twice three times a lady okay <laughs> uh, I sharpened it three times and now I'm going to get my dotted lines around the bottom layer invert it again backspace so you get rid of the stuff that's on the outside and now I'm going to come to a, a brownie colour colour code make a new layer do the same again with this brush might need to be a bit lighter on that I'm going to hide that make a new layer, do it again filter sharpen once twice I'm not going to do it three times because I don't want to break out into song <laughs> get your dotted lines invert it again press backspace deselect I'm going to put a hard light on that layer I'm going to highlight all them layers hold down control press E to merge them so we've got that I'm going to copy this layer edit transform you can't see this part but I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise or anti-clockwise it's up to you it'll just make it go uh, horizontally so I'm going to get rid of some of that delete it move this over depends on depending on how yours looks here you might not need to do this part but I'm just going to put a layer mask on it click in the layer mask come to his brush tool a normal brush hardness zero and everything I'm going to lower my opacitor I'm just going to get rid of some of that end part go back to 100% that's ok for me I've got to highlight both of them layers merge them I'm going to get rid of more of that so now we've got this I'm gonna copy that layer I'm going to put a color dodge on it to lighten it up to make it more shiner gonna highlight both of them merge them together gonna copy the layer again and then I'm gonna go through the filters to find and one that looks quite nice another colour uh, color dodge looks nice lighter colour let's go with another colour dodge I like both of them merge, merge them together and there you have it you have, you have a pipe I've made it a bit smaller this time compared to mine but I usually make things bigger and then 
I've shrink them down later for other things what you can use a bit smaller Let's go on. transform I'm gonna flip it vertically transform flip it horizontally computer's running a bit slow today put a less layer mask on it gradient black to transparent there you have it that's the end of the tutorial cheers guys I hope you enjoyed that it was really quite simple and quick see ya